Welcome to another episode of Canva App Spotlight, where I'm highlighting some of the popular apps in Canva. This week, we're going to talk about enhancing your text with some of these apps. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catterday. Let's get to it. The first app we're going to talk about is called Type Extrude, and it's a really fun way to add sort of a 3D effect to your text. You can see right here, they give you an example. You can change the text in this box right here. You can adjust the font, the colors, the outline thickness, and even the angle of that extruded length. So let's just change the text right here and we'll just type, hello. Down here, we can adjust the font. We're gonna click on that box and you have all of these font choices. Now there aren't quite as many choices as there are in the main font section of Canva, but there are quite a lot to choose from. So I'm sure you can find something that's going to be to your liking. I'm going to choose this one right here. There you go. And now we can adjust the colors. So I'm going to click on the color option and make it my brand colors. You can see when I do that, it has changed this to that teal color. I can change the thickness of the outline. Right now it's at 20, but if I drag the slider, you can see the outline gets a little bit fatter. And if I drag it down, it gets a little bit thinner. You can adjust that to your liking. We're gonna leave it right about there. The extrude angle is going to tell you where you're going to have that 3D effect take place. So if I drag it to the left, you can see it's moving the extruded angle right there. See how it's adjusting it? and placing it in a different position. So when you're placing this, think kind of like where you want that shadow to show up. If you want it in the lower left or the lower right, or maybe up top, this is how you would control that. And then down here at the bottom, you can control how long you want that to be. We can make this a little bit longer like this. Let me change this angle just a bit over this way. Here we go. So we can make it a little bit longer or shorter simply by dragging this slider. This one right here drags it all the way off the page. So it kind of looks like it's coming into the page. And then over here, we can drag it the other direction to make it really small. So I'm gonna give it sort of a average length right about there. And I will click where it says add to design. And there is that text right here, that extruded length. If you don't like it, you can edit it. You can simply go back in here. Maybe I want a different color. So I'm going to click on the color box again and maybe choose another color right here. You can change the font. So let's go pick something else. How about, how about this one? And right there. And then I can also change the angle and maybe I wanna make it a little bit thicker like this. And then you will click where it says update element and it will change it just like that. Really fun way to just give a little bit of depth and dimension to your text. The next app is called Type Gradient, and this is fantastic if you want to have a block of text and have a color gradient inside. Canva gives you the option to add gradients to your shapes and your backgrounds, but at the time of this recording, you can't add it to the text, but you can with this app. So you can see we have an example text right here. You can change what you would like that text to say simply by retyping in that box. You can change the font just like you could in the previous app that we mentioned. I'm gonna change that font right there. You can adjust the line spacing. So I can change the line height, maybe make it a little bit larger. The text is a little small, so I think I'm gonna put it back to Anton for now. There we go, and I will adjust that line spacing. You can also adjust the alignment. So they're centered, right, justified, and left. And here is where you're going to change the gradient colors. Now, these sliders right here at the top and the bottom are going to help you decide where you want that gradient to appear. Right now, the gradient is going in a linear fashion from top to bottom, but you can change the angle of that gradient simply by dragging these little handles. So if I want that gradient to be a little more on the diagonal side, I can drag this handle over to this side and then drag this other handle over to this side. And it's gonna change how that gradient looks by making that gradient now go in that diagonal direction. 
I can also make it go horizontal by dragging the handles this way, and now it will go in a linear fashion from left to right. So let's change some of these colors right here. Click on these little color boxes right here, and you can adjust the color settings. So let's go into maybe the green stage for that one. I'm going to leave the blue where it is, but over here on this far side, I wanna make it a little deeper of a purple like that. And then you will simply click add to design. Once you've done that, it's going to add that text to your design just like this. And it has that fun gradient effect. If you want to change it, you can do that too. Just click on edit and it brings you right back to the gradient box. Let's say we want to add some additional colors to this. Right here, we have three color stops, but we can add more if we want to. So I'm gonna click right here in the middle and I'm gonna add another color stop of maybe red. And then over here, I'm gonna add another color stop, maybe yellow. And then we would click where it says update element and it's going to update that gradient just like that. You can also delete some of those color stops if you want to. So you can click on it and right here, click delete. So if you don't like it, you can put it back to the way it was. So we're gonna delete that one and we'll delete this one. And let's change the angle again. Let's bring this up and bring this diagonal like that. And let's change it this time to red. And we'll put the middle one at maybe a yellow. And we'll put the end one at maybe greenish blue like that. And then click update element. And once again, it updates your gradient for you. This is really, really fun. I love this one a lot. You can use this on just about any of your Canva designs where you wanna have a little pop of color and add that gradient effect. The last app we're going to talk about today is called Font Frame. And this lets you put an image inside of text. Canva does already have some font frames that you can use that are letters. You're simply going to go to the elements section, go down to frames and scroll down until you see letters. And yes, you can use these and spell your words and put your images inside there. The only issue with this is when you place your images, you would have to adjust the size of the image across each individual letter in order for it to expand through the whole word. That takes a little bit of time. Using the font frame is a little bit faster. So here is some example text. Once again, we can adjust our font and our sizing. First, I'm going to change the text that's here. So let's type beach, please. We're gonna go over to settings and we have all of these different settings that we can apply to this font frame. First thing I'm going to do is pick a text. So let's go, let's find something kind of, here, I'll use this one. I like Anton. No, no, I don't like Anton. Let's pick another one. How about something a little more rounded? Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. We'll use that one. We can adjust whether it's uh, aligned to the left, to the right, or to the center. We can adjust the line thickness, this outline thickness if we want, as well as the color of that outline. We can simply drag the slider and pick another color, adjust it like that. For this one, I'm going to leave the outline at zero, and I'll explain why in just a minute. We can adjust the letter spacing as well as the line spacing. So right now it just has a placeholder image. We need to place a regular image in there. There are two ways to do this. One, you can upload it from your device or you can use an image that's within Canva. So I'm going to just grab an image of a beach. And we're gonna go to photos and let's go find, uh, here, I like this one. There's a fun beach image. Back to font frame. And you can see here, it says use selected image. So either method is going to work. If you have an image highlighted in your design, you can use that image. Otherwise you would just upload one. I'm going to click select image and it placed that image inside of those, those letters right there. You can move the placement of the image that's behind it. Just take it and drag it. And all I'm doing is just dragging it up or down or left or right or wherever you want that placement to be within the frame. So I'm gonna put it right about here, I think. 
let's see, right about there. I think I'll put it right there. And once you're finished, you're going to click where it says add to design. You can't quite see it at the moment because my image is behind it, but watch what happens. I love this effect, especially if you want to really enhance an image with maybe some type of text or an announcement or maybe a sale or something like that. I'm going to take this font frame and I'm going to enlarge it and I'm going to place it so that it's directly on top of my original image. And then I'm just going to adjust the sizing a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to adjust the sizing of this so that it completely matches my original image. There we go. We are exactly aligned with my original image. Next, I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to take my background image. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to bring the adjustment levels down a little bit with this image. I'm going to take my brightness and bring it down some. Look what happens when I did that. It helps that text really kind of pop. Then I can take my other image if I want to, and I can alter it a bit. I can change the font. I can do whatever I want with that. But it's a fun way to add that text effect with your image. You're kind of superimposing uh, that font frame inside of this other image. And then if you want to, you can replace it with something else. Maybe I want to have a little bit of border on this so I can do that also. It's just a really cool way to add this effect to your design. If I feel that this is not quite enhanced enough, I can click on edit and then I can go into the adjustments panel and I can bring the brightness up a little bit with this. So let's bring it up a little, just so it pops a little bit more like that. And there is how that font frame would work when it's superimposed on top of another image. You don't have to do it this way. You can just leave it just like it is with some outlined text but I think this is kind of a neat effect when you're working with your images. If this was helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.